Each September, half a million children begin the most important year of school so far. Year seven. CBBC have rigged this secondary school with loads of cameras. So you can see exactly what happens as they make new friends and get into trouble. If you wish to find out how strict I can be, then break the rules I set down. I'm not spotting makeup there, am I? But what they learn here will stay with them forever. Hello there, I'm Mr Thorburn and I'm a science teacher here. If you've ever wondered what secondary school is like, here's your chance to find out. This is our school. How can you do that? It's the start of a new school year, and along with 221 Year 7 students, there are some fresh recruits amongst the staff too. Today on our school, we meet two newly qualified teachers keen to impress. Ms Gibbons, who's joining the creative arts team, and Mr Glenn Denning, who'll be teaching design and technology. We'll also be exploring school life with more experienced staff members like myself, Mr Thorburn. I teach science, and our wonderful head cook, Julie. Both our new teachers have been given responsibility for Year 7 forms. And it's not just the students who get nervous. This is my first real teaching experience. Um, I'm sure I'm sharing the same sort of emotions and feelings as uh, all of the new year sevens. A uh, bit of excitement, a bit of nervousness, probably a lot of sleepless nights. We're all in the same position, um, which is brilliant. Uh, they're new, I'm new. Um, so yeah, no, I think we're, we're all in it together now. For students who get dropped off early, the school runs a breakfast club. It's run by head cook Julie, and what better way to start the day than with one of her cook breakfasts. Two sausages, bacon, beans and toast. The food that they have is just to die for, to be honest with you. It's also a good place for a bit of a sing-along. Aren't you supposed to say something? What? What was I like my with the kids. You heard them singing? She makes people laugh. She's just really funny. That's the main thing. <laughs> no, you've got to start with how do you like oh, no, your yeah. eggs in the morning? There's always a few that stand out. When you get uh, young Daniel that comes in in the morning, and we've even got him singing because we always have a bit of a, a nat and a bit of a laugh because it's quite laid back in the morning. How do you like your eggs in the morning? I like mine with a kiss. <laughs> Boiled or fried? <laughs> Bacon in the morning. <laughs> I like mine with a. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I like mine with a hug. <laughs> with a hug. Do the other bit, how do you like your toast in the morning? I like. No, I'm on. How'd it go? Well, Julie, it goes something like this. How do you. All right, actually, on second thoughts, I'll leave it to the experts. How do you like your eggs in the morning? I like mine with a kiss. Boiled or fried? I'm satisfied as long as I get my kiss. How do you like your toast in the morning? I like mine with a hug. Dark or light? The world's all right as long as I get my, my hug. hug. I've got to have my love in the end Oh, the rest of my day is positively mayhem I'm a regular monster How do you like your eggs in the morning? I like mine with a kiss Up or down I never frown Eggs can be almost bliss Just as long as I get by the time most people arrive at school, Julie's already been on duty for a couple of hours, so it's time for a break and a bit of a chat. Are you doing anything nice over the weekend then, guys? Oh uh, yeah, playing on my iPad, playing on my iPhone, watching TV, playing on the Xbox. Now what's playing on the PS3, that's five. I think that's it. 
What about outdoor games? Okay. <laughs> hmm. No. It must be quite daunting for them coming in to a strange place, you know. I'm hoping that they can come to us if they need to, as well as the teachers. We want to be part of that, part of the school. So if they've got a problem, come to us too, because we want to make it so, you know, we are quite accessible for that. Cup of tea. <laughs> uh, do you know what? I've been here 16 years, you know, and I still don't know my way around the school, all of it. It's quite a big school, isn't it? Mm. I'm, I'll have to go on now because that dragon in there, that dragon in there in the red is giving me evil eyes. Julie's quickly broken the ice with some of the New Year 7s and everyone's beginning to find their feet. So, are new teachers Mr Glenn Dunning and Miss Gibbons overcoming their nerves and finding their feet as well? Who likes my uh, to-do list? Thank you. Certainly looks like it. Were you asleep yesterday in assembly? So. Right, fair enough. <laughs> right, keep it a secret. Even I know. People find out my real name. I might have to kill you. I would like a volunteer you don't even know what I'm going to say. I might say go. I might say go clean the bins. Seems as if he's making a good first impression. I wonder what his students will think when they discover that outside of school, he's a bit of a hero. For the past seven years, Mr. Glenn Denning's been a volunteer for the Royal National Lifeboat Institution, a charity that responds to coastal emergencies 24 hours a day. I was first on the RNA Life with a friend. He'd been part of the lifeboat crew for quite some time. And uh, one day he said, Why don't you come down, meet the crew, and uh, see if you want to join? So I thought, Why not? And uh, been here pretty much ever since. The crew get called out an average of 100 times a year, so they need to be at the top of their game, which means they take their training very seriously. When he's not teaching, Mr. Glenn Denning is always on call. He has to be ready to drop everything and use his life-saving skills. As volunteers, um, we come down twice a week for training. Everything from man overboard exercises, um, first aid is uh, quite important. Man overboard! It's important to keep these skills uh, fresh. The man overboard is not something which we would commonly come across, but they are important skills to keep just in case something like that does happen, because it could happen. Three metres. Two metres. You always do feel good when you've, um, you've been able to, to do a successful rescue. I wouldn't say I'd go out and have a party, but uh, you do feel, feel happy. Casually on board. Back at school, the other new teacher, Miss Gibbons, isn't letting any of her class out of her sight. Follow me all this way, OK? The worst thing that I'm dreading is they all get lost. Um, I don't want them to be panicky, I don't want them to be worried. To help them, she sets her form a challenge. In your planner, there is a map. Who can find the map first? Go! Is that the map of the school? Not the map of the world, the map of the school. Uh, I don't remember there being a map of the school in the planner. Come on, an easy way would be starting from the front and working your way back. I hope they've printed it in, the, in your planners now you're all searching for them. <laughs> well... Should look like this on the board. You should be looking for something like this. Please say it is in your planners after you've searched for this long. Can I borrow your planner? <laughs> it might not be in there. They must not have printed it right, but that was a little game for... I was, ju I was just putting you to the test to make you look through your planners. She may be finding her feet in the classroom, but like Mr Glenn Denning, she has an amazing hidden talent. <laughs> wow, I was not expecting that. A, little party never killed nobody. a gymnast since the age of four, she's still part of an award-winning display team called Question. Skidding by the 
Gymnastics has been my passion for, for years. You can't even describe it. It's the amount of adrenaline that you get when you're going on the floor. It's just immense. If the routine's been amazing, having the, the huge crowd cheer you, it is, it's a brilliant feeling. As well as dancing, sports acro involves a lot of balancing, and that involves such close teamwork. Um, from the base all the way right to the top, everyone has got to be exactly in the right position. I think it helps that we're all best friends. We've all grown up together. And then it doesn't, it doesn't matter if we, we drop each other then. Oh. Ash, you need to stop shaking. I was like that. <laughs> yeah, just, just don't put it in. Just don't put the balance in. That's just dangerous. To be a good gymnast, I think you need to be confident. You need to have that drive to just throw yourself up there or throw yourself down a tumble track in case you do fall. If you ask me, teaching a group of year sevens is a bit like throwing yourself down the tumble track. You can end up kind of dizzy and unbalanced, so I'd say it's perfect training for a new job. <laughs> it's the first lesson of the day, double science with me, Mr Thorburn. What could be better? That's the kind of enthusiasm I like to see. All I've got to do now is learn this lot's right. names. If I pronounce your name wrong, tough, that's how we pronounce it from now on. <laughs> All right? Like Isabel. OK, do we use Isabel or Izzy? Someone. Fair enough, I'll call you George. Where's Donna? Donna. Crossley Knights, what a magnificent surname. You sound like you should own a, like, a, a very posh restaurant. <laughs> uh, Salma. <laughs> Yes, hello, very good. Where's Connor? Yes, sir. And is your last name Jinx? Yeah. That is sweet. That is a quality name. I'm jealous. Tandy Schumer, who's that? That's like my favourite name ever. I'm going to name my kids that. Mr. Oh, Fourburn's funny. He's really funny. I like Mr. Fourburn. He's the best teacher. Yeah. He's my favourite teacher. He's really cool. I really like Mr. Thorman because he's very funny. Learning science, we are. <laughs> um, and he's very crazy. A bit like you. <laughs> Thank you. I understand um, that, that, Chloe, you, you, you tried to bring me some work in, and I have marked it, but that, that sort of, yeah, that looks like it's been through the digestive system of a cat. He's probably the funniest teacher I've ever met. Stop enjoying yourself. Remember, you're in school. And cos he's a Jardy, it makes him even better. I don't even know if he thinks we are the twins. Very nice. Look at you, highly skilled Bunsen burner enthusiasts. Excuse me, whose is this? Where is there a smouldering stick on my desk? You need to put it What's on this called? The fire mat. A heatproof mat, which means it's heatproof. So you can put that on there. Tables burn. That doesn't. If I burn myself, it's my own stupid fault. If one of the kids gets burned, it's still my fault. Uh, so I take it very seriously. And it'll come to that point where I'll stop a lesson. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oi! It's not there to protect your fringe, is it, Chief? Pay attention to my friend here, who has a very protected forehead, but his eyes are at risk. If I see something that's sort of going on that, that shouldn't be, I'll stop a lesson and just get everybody just to turn around and we'll talk about what's happened and what should happen and what I don't want to see and so on and so forth, and then I'll let them get on with it again. Get it out! They might think I haven't noticed, but nothing gets past me. Most of you did extremely well. I was very impressed. You're so safe, you're still wearing your goggles. Um, does everybody think it was perfectly safe? Or were there mistakes that might have been made that we can think about for next time? What do we reckon? Um, not to have two people light in the buns and burner. Yeah, OK. What I did was... I saw two people lighting a splint at the same time, one person to light the candle, and one person for fun. Gentlemen. But I'm fairly sure the person I caught, he lit it, just blew it straight out again, just for the fun of lighting stuff, OK? Now, friendly warning, all right? When we trust you to do practical work, we expect you to be safe, OK? OK. OK. 
7AG are turning out to be a loud bunch, but when they do push it, Mr Glenn Denning has a secret weapon up his sleeve. Nobody wants to experience the wrath of the angry face. <laughs> No, no, I tried to stop it. Oh, he goes like this, wait. He goes like that. <laughs> I didn't see it. What did it go like? He, he like he really climbed to the face and then his cheek bones like <laughs> 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 Like his cheeks go poof. I can't do it, but he like he goes like that and shakes his face dead weird. I can't do it. Mm. He goes, no, 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 no. <laughs> The only problem with the angry face is that the kids find it so funny they're not really taking it very seriously. Calm down. Angry face. Angry face. I nearly did. I do nearly it, did. No, we no. didn't say it. We didn't say it. Do it. I only saved that for special occasions. No. Meanwhile, over in 7CG, Miss Gibbons has her own rowdy pair to deal with. Kieran and Alex have discovered that there's more to their new teacher than meets the eye. He do gymnastics. Yeah. Yeah. I used to do this, Mum. It's like you can hold your handbag and then do backflips down the stairs. And then, <laughs> and then, and then you can like cartwheel all the way home. <laughs> no. Or like, you know that thing where you run and then you can like flip in the air yeah. and turn around and then land on your feet and you do that? Yeah. What are you Swanky. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> Benny's gonna go next. Oh okay, God. so if we can all be quiet. Um, Close your mouth. You could just <laughs> Kieran looks like he's a bit of a handful. He's pushing the boundaries at the minute. Um, he's seen what he can get away with during tutor time, definitely. Um, just does not be quiet. His mouth is completely always open. It just makes me laugh as well, though, so I feel like I can't tell him off just yet. You don't to laugh in the teacher. <laughs> he's too cute to tell off. <laughs> right. Can you two settle down, please? Okay. Yes, settling down. Cos you will be split up, I'm not lying. I can't stand quietness. I love it. So let's be quiet. Over in the canteen, something strange has happened to Julie. Julie Paul Julie? The school is holding an International Languages Day. The canteen will be serving European food and no one will be allowed to speak English. Volivou. Is that a volleyball or a volleyball? <laughs> That's the one. Ooh. Hey, you should just have a for extension, please. No, yeah, I'm going to try and learn a bit of French to talk to the children. Je voudrais is I would like, OK? So you say, Bonjour. if you would like a croissant, OK, that is just croissant, OK? Yeah, because it's French. If all fails, just do the accent. Okay. If you get French king, and then you get stuck, and those you go there. Fantastic. We we we. Look at me now. I thought you were French. How good is that? Right. If all else fails, make sure you do that accent. If you would like a hot dog, that is German. Okay, so you must say hello. Well, okay. I suppose I'd better get into the spirit of things. Je m'appelle Monsieur Thorburn, et je voudrais un croissant, s'il vous plaît. <laughs> Bonjour! 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 For it, who is or did he say What? Pizza! <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> that didn't last long then. If they're going to speak in English, so am I. Oh, and by the way, love the hat. Hola! Bonjour! Does anyone know the French for biscuit? Uh, biscuit. Uh, bis bis biscuit. Oh, oh, it is biscuit. Biscuit. So how do you think you did, Julie? Oh, I'm no good at speaking French or German. Mercy! No more for another year, please! <laughs> International Languages Day doesn't stop at the canteen. And for some students, learning a new word, like hello in Japanese, for example, gives them a chance to be slightly irritating. Konnichiwa, Georgia. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. All right, shut up. Konnichiwa. You're getting well annoying now, kids. 
I think we can safely say that hello in Japanese is one word this class won't forget in a hurry. Luca, can't you two watch? Today, 7AG and 7CG are off on their first school trips. Miss Gibbons' form are heading to Gym World, whilst Mr Glenn Dennings are off on a tour of the local lifeboat station. It's a chance to find out more about their new teachers, but will the excitement prove too much? So far, 7CG seem to be behaving like angels, but Mr G's lot, on the other hand... <laughs> what a rowdy bunch! Poor Mr. Glenn Day. Miss Gibbons really wants to impress her class and show them what a great hobby gymnastics can be. And this is the ideal place with everything from balance beams and monkey rings to a very bouncy floor. OK, guys. Excuse me. OK, guys, so we're at Gym World. We need to be very sensible. OK, there's a lot of dangerous equipment here. What we're going to do is mainly be based on the floor, okay, and we're going to do some kind of team building um, and group activities. Can you stop bouncing? Sorry. It'll be a good chance to actually see what they're like outside of the classroom. So, yeah, I think it was just give them an opportunity to see how fun it is um, and to see what kind of things that you can do with it rather than just dancing around kind of thing. OK, this is a massive part of my life. So, I've been doing this since I was four, OK? And I'm going to... I will show you some later on. OK, and I will get involved with you, OK? So make me proud. I want a class full of gymnasts, OK? Everyone's letting off a lot of steam. Miss, what if you can't jump the floor? For someone like Kieran, it's a dream come true. Are you like this at home, Kieran? Oh, hi, yeah. 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 Yeah, Do you bounce around the house? Mm hmm How many beds have you broken from bouncing on them? Oh, yes, yeah. oh two. Two? Yeah. Quite good going, actually. I thought it was a bit more than that. Oh, yeah. It looks like 7CG are having a whale of a time. Over at Sunderland Lifeboat Station, Mr Glenn Denning is impressing 7AG with the vast array of equipment that the RNLI needs to save lives. Any volunteers who might want to wear this helmet? Yeah? Yes! Right, you see yes, this so what I'm going to do, you're going to grab hold of that helmet, you're going to put it on. Right, mind your glasses, make sure they're going to be nice and safe. Perfect. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> One vital piece of equipment is the dry suit. Designed to keep out water in the harshest conditions, Mr Glenn Denning wants to show just how effective it is. But he hasn't bargained on the sheer power of an 11-year-old armed with a hose. Um, Iman managed to somehow get me wet, even though I was wearing a full dry suit. Um, don't know how he did that, but he's obviously only small, so he could, he could get in all the nooks and crannies. <laughs> I think Mr Glenn Denning is making quite a splash with 7AG. <laughs> Meanwhile, and here's a sentence I never thought I'd say, Miss Gibbons is trying to persuade her class to form a human pyramid. Honestly. But little monkey Kieran doesn't need asking twice. Yeah, buddy! <laughs> I'm kind of in the world. What goes up must come down. I'm going to fall. Right, OK, hold my hands. Jump down. Ow! Just come straight up. I've got hold of you. Keep your arms straight. What? Don't jump, just fall forward. Go on. What do you mean, fall forward? Oh. Ah! <laughs> Kieran's been brilliant today, actually. He hasn't, he hasn't um, played up. Uh, he's a little bit hyperactive, but he, he's usually excitable anyway, so it's no different to every day. So, but he's been brilliant. They all have, actually. OK, brilliant. Let's 
With the school trips coming to a close, there's just enough time left for Mr. Glenn Denning to show a bit of flair. Can you see what I did there? Bit of flair. And Miss Gibbons finishes her session by showing just a little of what she can do. Make sure you're watching, because I will not be showing you this again. That was awesome! When she did the flick, I was amazed like that because well, I've seen it a few times before, but I didn't think that like in, just like an ordinary person, like a teacher, could do something like that. In class, she doesn't do flips and stuff and jump up and down in class because she's wearing heels. Miss Gibbons is amazing at gymnastics. She was doing this cartwheel and she did like all these weird like cheerleading things and it was really cool. And I can't imagine any of the other teachers doing it, but she was really good. Woody hop over. I think it went brilliant. I think they did love it. I think it's made them a little bit closer. Having them climbing on each other is breaking that barrier of distance between them um, and having a bit, bit of a bond, really. Just a few weeks into her teaching career, and Miss Gibbons has the admiration of all her class. Miss Gibbons! Miss Gibbons! Mr. Glenn Denning has also succeeded in wowing his form. I think Mr. Glenn Denning is like a superhero because of what you did. Like, you can be anywhere, and then you can just get this phone call to save someone's life. I think that's just really cool. He's a big teddy bear. He's a big, lovey, dovey teddy bear. And he takes care of you. Year seven is a time of great change, but it doesn't have to be a daunting experience. If you're surrounded by supportive, dedicated, and inspirational teachers, you're going to have a lot of fun and create some lifelong memories. Oh, and hopefully learn the odd thing or two. Anyone? I'm stuck. Anyone? Next time on Our School, Ewan's behaviour challenges the teachers. Where do you think you're going? Sometimes, like, I can get, like, really frustrated and walk out. I'm not staying in school, all right? He needs to knuckle down and sort himself out, otherwise his time at Conyers may not last very long. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Pull the toggle and that will inflate our jackets. That is strong. Yeah. OK. Go. Why have you got your hair cut like snake? Harry Potter. <laughs> he nicked his hair cut off me.